Parental discretion is advised. What's up, guys? This week on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we talk about numbers, and then we talk about more numbers, and then we talk about more numbers. Join us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 326. We're here live in the Mayhem Studios from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm Sorgatron right here uh, behind the boards, pushing the buttons, switching the levers, making things happen. With me on the couch doing none of those things is Chachi of InsertCoinToBegin.com, at Chachi says on the Twitter. And, What's up, hot dogs? And he's got a mustache. You're, ta- you're listening to the greatest wrestling podcast six years running in the history of the internet. You have no reason to go anywhere else. Mm. Why are you doing my intro to the show? Because I can. (laughs) It's coming from the mustache. What's up, hot dog is trademarked, my friend. Not by you. Yes, by Scott Ackerman, and he should be (laughs) angry about it because that fucking video game stole it. Hey, look, look. I'm twisting the ends of my mustache. (laughs) Oh, he's a villain. And with us is DJ Lunchbox of ThoughtfulRiot.com at DJ Lunchbox on the Twitters. How are you this evening, sir? What's up, hot dogs? I am DJ Lunchbox, the one and only, the man himself, uh, the one who enjoys the clatter of men's testicles as they fruitlessly scissor each other (laughs) until they chase themselves into submission. Oh, man, you said it. And that is what you're missing on the Monday Night Raw Hangouts. Did you write that down? I did write it. (laughs) (laughs) Also, with us from Corpus Christi, Texas, is the Wrestle Fan, the the birthday boy. Ladies and gentlemen. Happy birthday, bitch boy. Happy birthday, bitch boy. Happy birthday, fucking bitch. I'll make a wish that you guys never make fun of me again. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never happen because with us also tonight is Bo Diggity. He's writing stuff. He's, a, he's writing. <clears throat> Dear Diary, it's <laughs> Wrestle Fan Appreciation Night. Don't know how I'm going to get through this. I may never see the light of day again. That's it. Really we can start down. now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Join us from, uh, I don't know, it's North Carolina. It's one of the Carolinas. It's the northern one, sir. Okay. The one with the good-ass barbecue and the and and good-ass beer and uh, Rick Ass. fucking Flair. That's right. That one. That's right, on all your lottery commercials. No, he doesn't have his lottery tickets anymore. Aw. No, that ended like two years ago. He does have energy drink commercials down here, though. <laughs> That's fitting. <laughs> he flies in and he he like it's like he's holding a tiny little five hour energy bottle, but instead of being like the dude in the uh, the new five hour energy commercials, which by the way, if you join us for the Monday Night Raw hangouts, you can hear us make fun of him <laughs> over and over and <laughs> over again. <laughs> um, he like flies in. He goes. He just like, flies in, and he lands, and the, like the ground cracks. I did, I don't know why they paid for effects, but the, he flies <laughs> in, the ground cracks. He goes, "Woo! You need new five-hour energy drinks," and it's amazing, and it's on my television. <laughs> <laughs> and we've seen that. I think it's popped up on the uh, on the Facebook Open group before. Um, let's see if we can find it here real quick. <laughs> I uh, I found it on more than one occasion. Uh, Every because every I just every now and then I need a laugh. Yeah, this one, it's fuel in a bottle, and it's him holding the world heavyweight title that he stole. <laughs> <laughs> and he, like I want Ric Flair to pop up in random meetings via lightning for <laughs> <laughs> somehow. <laughs> some it's still yeah, better yeah, than yeah. the five hour energy commercials. In, in yeah, production. the next one is the protein one, and he like flies in, and it's amazing wow. and. Yeah, so that's what's on my television down here in North Carolina. Woo! And also with us, joining us, is uh, People in the Hangout. 
I would get lots of stuff going on. I uh, no, those My guys goodness. were uh, making fun of the Five Hour Energy gentleman <laughs> who holds up the <laughs> bottle of Five Hour Energy during five Monday Night Raw and says, "Hey, you guys need Five Hour Energy. If you guys want Five Hour Energy, you guys should drink this. It'll give you all the energy you need in your life. Just you know, make sure that you can get you know get yourself up for the day." <laughs> and he's the least energetic person ever. How many cups of coffee are you ladies going to drink today? (laughs) Two, three, which are acceptable amounts of coffee, jackass. (laughs) (laughs) I drank an entire French press of Tim Horton's coffee today, and I am good to go. Exactly. All right, and of course, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out more about us at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on iTunes, we're on Blip TV, Roku, uh, Boxes, Stitcher, and all kinds of different places where fine podcasts are sold. Uh, And videocasts as well. Uh, Hey, we're on that new, uh, look for us on the new podcast app that just uh, opened up on iTunes. Uh, You can get it in your app store. I think it's featured right now. It's hard to search podcast uh, to get to that. Of course, we're uh, right over there. Oops, over there is uh, our Twitter, at Mayhem Show. Uh, be sure to tag us uh, anything about this show. Hashtag WMS2, uh, I'm sorry, 326. Keep wanting to short us a couple hundred. Um, you can also drop us a line to yeah. Good Times. Good Times. Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Also, uh, you can call us at 412-206-WMS0 on the hotline as there was a lot of stuff going on this week there. Uh, Big Freaky likes to call us a lot. And, and he did this week because he uh, met up with Mr. Chachi at the uh, at the Super Indie. Yeah, um, you can also uh, buy the app. Buy, buy the it. app. WMS Gold Wrestling. It doesn't include penis. Buy it. There you go. There you go. If I pay more, will it? Uh, <laughs> that will is get an penis? in-app purchase. <laughs> and you get a picture of um, Sid's dick. That's nice. Where you, get it. you get Sid's oh. dick. I already have one of those. And, and 60% or 30% of that <laughs> penis goes to Apple. Unfortunately. 30%, 30% 30 penis. 30-cent dick picture is for Apple. <laughs> 30% penis. So let's get right into it. We do have some voicemails, uh, some emails, all kinds of stuff. Uh, Chachi, you you uh, called Bobby's? Dibs. Dibs on Bobby's. What's going on with Bobby? It says, to whom it may concern, it's someone's special day today. But I couldn't get Yerple the Clown to grace us with their ever-glowing presence. Also, Puppet FJ Town couldn't make it either because he's at Furry Sexpo 2012. But he urges Russell fan to make his bed. In all seriousness, happy birthday. And I got you an AJ-shaped cake. Too bad it's AJ Styles. Enjoy. Aww. Aww. That's also me, everybody. But also, <laughs> I eat the shit out of that cake. I don't care what Pele I'm kick you in the face with frosting. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most disturbing birthday I think the kid could ever have. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's uh, All right, we got another one here. Uh, Chachi, you sent me something. Uh, no, this, I, uh, what, are we, what am I doing with this thing? Uh, all right, when are you playing the original Freaky Mail? What? So when are you playing the original I don't know. Freaky? I don't know which ones to play anymore. Uh, <laughs> wait, we have other emails. We have other emails. You got one there, LB? I do. I do have one here from uh, from the, the young Mr. Sonic Screwjob. Uh, greetings, Mayhem. Well, there's only two possibilities. Cena is a Mayhem fan or one of the writing staff is. I'll admit it's with great pr- pride and a little plagiaristic envy that I watch my Star Wars gimmick. The gimmick I've birthed from my childhood and raised from a pup paraded around the ring for its 15 minutes of fame. Sherman, set your way back machine for October 11th, 2011. The dawn of Big Johnny. Uh, this is a flashback from Thank you. Is George Lucas writing WWE Raw now? Evil Senator Laurinaitis orchestrates a civil war from the scenes with the help of the Awesome Truth, Trade Federation, and Darth Nash. His ultimate goal is to become Emperor Laurinaitis. I won't even enter into my other analogies. Luke Cena, CM Solo, Yoda is the Raw anonymous general manager in hiding, etc. Then, in December 6, 2011... No. <laughs> My emperor laryngitis theory is still rolling along. I think Piper was Count Dooku, though. The really badass old guy who's paving the way. Before long, we'll have a clone army to, con- to content with and... Yeah, 
and John and Cena will be putting the AA on younglings. Gosh, Mr. Peabody, someone's watching the Mayhem show. Add this to the long list of Mayhem suggestions, and we'll officially have a Bigfoot-style Mayhem sighting. Have a great show, and remember, they're watching you, Sonic. P.S. Where can I get a can of that Heath Slater ginger bronzer? That shade of tan would look great on my patio deck. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was solid. That was solid. I approve. There you go. Uh, we had. Did you get this other one here? There was actually another one. Uh, building on LB Super Theory, I think Big Show would be a great Lex Luthor. Uh, just add a little side of Kingpin. Just saying, Sonic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it would be cool if, like, he wore green gloves, though. <laughs> <laughs> and if he hit Cena, Cena flew across the ring. He's already got like nuclear Duke Nukem logo on the back of his shirt and his logo on the Titan Tron. Right, but he needs like he needs like green gloves. They're like they're like kryptonite line gloves. And then he throws punches <laughs> and Cena goes flying across the ring. Mm-hmm. Then we would have a full Superman analogy. There you go. There you go. Uh no, uh AJ, we have like three voicemails from you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, what am I going to do with these? Because you're well, here. You can play them all. Yeah, That's I want to play them all, here. even you though you're here. All. Okay. Even though I'm here, listen, there is comedy gold. There's one about uh, the newest installment of Amateur Eating Food. Okay, all right. We'll go into it here. One second. We're we'll loading it up. Good morning, children. Winky, winky. It's Bo Diggity. Woo! You want to just mouth these? I think I figured out what we can do with David Otonga. Now, David Otunga, having been, you know, you know, having walked away from Johnny Warren Ice, uh, may not uh, have much to do anymore, you know, because he kind of sucks at wrestling. Uh, so here's an idea. Uh, he tweeted this morning, he was at the Baltimore airport, and he said that uh, the, the coffee is on the outside of security. Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks gave it a coffee grade of D. And now I want David Otunga to start a coffee blog where he grades all of the airports their ability to give him coffee. Because that would be hilarious. And if there's anybody who could take a gimmick to the next level, it's one David Otunga. So, David Otunga, if you're listening, and you probably are because you have legal documents and briefs to read, um, just know that Bo Diggity has an idea for you. You know, every, uh, every wrestler needs some help sometimes. I'm here for you. Call me. And I am. I love that you said he's reading briefs. <laughs> yeah, he is reading briefs. Whether they are underwear or legal based, <laughs> not my concern. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, you know, first of all, I, I, I raised the question. Do we know, has David Otunga after, ever practiced law officially in any capacity? Obviously, he went to law school. I presume he yeah. passed the bar. Has, did he actually spend he's time? Been do, he's been doing pro bono cases. Really? Like, alongside his wrestling? Yeah. More like pro boner. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he has been doing oh. actual cases along. That, that, like, that sometimes when he's like not on Raw, it's because he's doing a case. Wow. That's well, a- I know the one time it was because he was supporting his wife. Yeah, but that, that's, that's you know, that's what that is, you know, that, that. That's not necessarily him doing it. That's him being there. Because there's no way he's going to try the case you know, for her. It's a little too close. Hey, here's a fun fact. You know that, like, that spine buster choke slam thingy that he does? Yeah. Did you know that it's called The Verdict? Yep. <laughs> I don't think, know that. I don't think they put that I over know everything in about David Atunga. Of course, <laughs> it's called The Verdict. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense. And that's hilarious. But... That's great. Still. That's great. It's I mean, also probably one of the worst finishing moves ever. <laughs> it is. It's just, I'm going to get picked up, and then I'm going to fall down. There's never <laughs> been a good lawyer gimmick. There's been, like, the guys that come in, and you use the lawyers as, like, a side thing to for the bad guys, because nobody likes lawyers. But the, never was the bad guy the freaking lawyer. Yeah, that's so true. So I, I think it's been great, and I, I hope they do something really cool with him from here on, other than just kind of picking on Brodus Clay. All right, here's the second one from AJ, who happens to be on the damn show. I'm here right now. <laughs> long, long precursor. Apparently, I didn't know my phone was working. <laughs> Is this a bad one? Oh, this is where you buck dialed me. I think I butt dialed you guys. Yeah, this is because this was like a little bit afterwards, like in the same day, and I'm like, oh yeah, he butt dialed us. 
How did you butt uh, dial us on a touch tone phone? My bad, everybody. It right. was not on some sort of touch tone phone. I probably just, I don't know, my phone touch, being touch stupid. Phone. I was going to say, your butt phone. muscles have to be real. Yeah, you just, you just stop that. Rebel it. fan. Oh. It's time for you to celebrate your birthday. You're what, nine months old now? Something like that? Close I'm enough. sure that you've had a wonderful life so far. However, <laughs> however, <laughs> apparently it has been deemed Wrestle Fan Appreciation Night. So I'm going to list the things that I appreciate about WrestleFan. Number one, I appreciate that he does amateur falling down every week, even though I make fun of him for it. I appreciate it. I appreciate the way that he let people insult him, <laughs> such as when a diva called him a bitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, a Joshi, a Joshi. That's true. Hold, to, calm down, WrestleFan. Put your penis back in your pants. Joshi, yeah, I'll do a bitch. She was right. She wasn't insulting you. She was just speaking facts. Also, also, I would like to show uh, appreciation for uh, WrestleFan watching TNA so I don't have to. Even though supposedly my mic goes to. Probably not. Okay. I'll take credit for that. Anyways, mm-hmm. this has been Bo fucking diggity. Wishing you a very... Actually, I wish you a moderately happy uh, <laughs> Wrestle Fan Appreciation Night. And in fact, you know what? Can we have a dismally appreciative night for Wrestle Fan? Like, you know, can we keep it like on a scale of one to ten? Can we go like a one and three quarters? Let's keep it there. One and three quarters sounds good. Bo Diggy. Woo! That, that, that sounds perfect. <laughs> One and three there quarters out of five. I mean, that's all I can hope for. No, no, no. That was one and three quarters out of ten. Don't give yourself that much credit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we do have one. Uh, I don't know. This one I'm going to play because it addresses the show. Some, some, some criticisms of the show, and we always like to be criticized, as we learned last I week. I love to be criticized. <laughs> well, you especially, sir. Let me see if I can find the right one here. Um, I think it's this one. Nope, that's not it. Is it me? It's probably me. No, it's not you. It's not you. Um, it's definitely not you. Hey, I was you, mad and yelling in my car. I thought I may have made a phone call. Maybe I was just calling my windshield. I don't know. It was just me <laughs> screaming at Russell fan for saying things and not attributing them to sources. Mm. So oh, we've been over that. this before, oh, well, yeah. young one. Actually, I'm actually not sure where this one is. <clears throat> is it the freaky one? Yes. Yeah, I one can you... give you a recap. Okay. Do you do you want to? Yeah, yeah. That's probably the best. Now, what he he did leave a voicemail criticizing the show. Yes. And if one was directed at you. And I think you wanted to address it? Well, it was all jammed into one. Yeah. Um, so Freaky called again, left the voicemail again. Uh, the first, I don't know, 15, 30 minutes was about me. Uh, he said that I don't get back up my statements when I say something sucks, which is true. Which is true. I've called you on that. Uh, and that I act like I'm bigger than the show, which is also true. Um, <laughs> that's what he does. That, yeah, the, that's I, 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 I'm, that's him. That's in, him in real life, guys. In that's, case you're not, in case you're not paying attention, have you read his Twitter? I, I'm a real life heel. <laughs> in case you, in case you're not paying attention, Chachi really is a horrible person. I am. I am a bad, <laughs> bad person with a hence the heel mustache. Right. I'm an I can asshole. Literally cry every Tuesday night. I'm an asshole. I mean, that's not a fact. I mean, that's not a, a fake thing. I'm an asshole. If I'm nice to you, that's because I genuinely like you. Or you're because, or if you're trying to trick them into a false sense of security, well, like you did with me. Well, you, you're just fun to mess with. Yeah. All right, but no, I mean, when it comes down to it, I, if I don't have anything to say, I don't say anything. Hence why I only talk during gold in the intro. Or the fan interaction part. I mean, uh, other than that, for the most part, I'm pretty quiet on the show compared to the rest of the the, the rest of the crew. I did find it, by the way. Okay, I can't remember how um, long it is. And then he went on to say that all I do is I come here every Tuesday and I mock wrestling. Here's here's my uh, my rebuttal to that. Uh, WWE is still getting my views. RWA is still getting my view. IWC is still getting my views. 
I'm allowed to mock them. And then, then can I? I'll attribute something to that. I mean, people could say you, you Chachi, you mock stuff to points. Join us during the raw hangouts. I apparently am very angry at everything. <laughs> you are. You are. You no, there, that, 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 that specific that moment that was too much, me. my friend. It was okay. too much for Bo Diggity to handle, <laughs> and I had to shut it down. But I mean, yeah, I, uh, I'm an asshole, and that's all there is to it. Uh, and then he went on to say that, uh, uh, specifically the la- the ladder match that I was referring to. Uh, I just said it sucked. I didn't give any real reasons. Uh, the ladder match he was referring to was the Jimmy Nuts and Joseph Brooks ladder match. From uh, March, yes, I believe, March. in RWA. Um, here's, Which, it, 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 I, I criticized it, too. I didn't like it. I, I here's why didn't. it sucks. Nothing against it was, a, it was a poorly planned match, and most of the bo- big spots that they tried to do were botched. Yeah. yeah. Therefore, I mean, they had a normal wrestling with ladders there. Mm-hmm. I, I think it was more than that, but I mean, but I agree with you, and and and, and I generally think both are really you know good wrestlers. Uh, yeah, I, you know, mean, I, I enjoy I'm watching generally... Joseph Brooks matches. Nuts has been pretty good, <laughs> you know. It just that match didn't work out for whatever reason. Was, you know, I mean, it was poorly planned. They didn't exactly. start planning the match until twenty minutes before well, show. No, not even, not even, not even what you know from being there beforehand. <laughs> whatever. I mean, just watch the match. It just it didn't come off good. That's it. You know, um, as far as then he went on to say that he tried to get someone else to listen to the show and they said that they didn't like the show because we didn't talk about wrestling. Yeah, he, he says that. Yeah, <laughs> to well, which said I about... said, as far as the rest of your complaints, I can't address those as I don't dictate what the conversation is on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he said something about like we're talking about comic books or something. I don't think we've well, like, we do a lot of stuff when we're doing this live. And I don't know how much we've gone off the rails here during the actual recorded show that goes out on iTunes. Right. Uh, right. It happens. If you listen to Gold, we talk about stuff, more shit than just, you know, wrestling. Exactly. And it used to happen that we talked about more outside of wrestling stuff here on the show. Uh, but now we do that on Gold. That's our place well, for it. I'll and also say this. We, we all generally make fun of Freaky for the, like, you know, listening on a delay. Yes, there was a long stretch of interviews with comic book people, the wrestling manager, app guy. Yeah, um, there was a, like a stretch of those interviews that that happened that were, uh, I'm going to use a really big word here, that were tangentially associated with wrestling. They yeah, ha- they were in, they were with wrestling, but were not like we were not talking about the the, the week in wrestling. That must be, wow. that, you know, that that's actually probably a big part of it because we did have a month long where we specifically sought out people with wrestling, comics, creators, etc. And I and and I think it's important to go outside the box. We want everything associated with wrestling. We can't, you know, we're not going to interview just wrestlers and indie guys and managers and ex WWE guys and stuff like that because it's all it tends to be the same stuff over and over, right? Um, but you but you go and say, hey. You know, this guy that's a fan in Scotland making the wrestling manager app, you know, and, and talk about the issues going on with that. And, and, you know, I, you know, I'm sorry, it's not just wrestling. It is talking about the brand and the and the trademarks and the issues with that, you know, and, and what does it take to bring something like that, something cool like that to the fans like that? Same with the comic books thing. It's a whole other thing. You know, these, these guys aren't going to be making this stuff if they aren't fans. And that's who we want to talk to or other fans. Right, and people who listen to this show and listen to you know to us week in and week out are likely the same people who watch WWE week in and week out, and they may want somebody else's opinion, what somebody thought about it. But at the same time, it's kind of cool to throw in something that's not directly related to the WWE and what happened on Monday Night Raw or Friday exactly. Night SmackDown. Right, right. exactly. You throw in the indie stuff, you throw in the the, the wrestling manager stuff and the comic book stuff. And it's wrestling related, but it's something that may that they may be interested. It is relevant to their interests, but may not be the, you know, this happened this week on Raw and I did not like it, or I really right. liked what they did there. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they, it's it's more the you know, and even when we dive into news, I think we try to go for stuff that's you know not just what happened on Raw, who's injured, you know. You know, that kind of stuff of what's going on product wise. We try to, you know. We don't want to be. We go for the interesting story. Exactly. You know? We don't want to be an audio dirt sheet. 
Exactly. In the yes. long run. We don't want an to audio be... dirt sheet is possibly the worst sounding thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, yeah. we, we'll throw some dirt stuff out. Yeah. But audio dirt sheet sounds terrible. <laughs> Russell fan, you had something? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I definitely agree, though. I just think, yeah, and I like the fact that, you know, we kind of don't, uh, you know, don't do what a lot of other podcasts do and just talk about Raw. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean,. Hey, you know, they, they, now that we've uh, uh, justified ourselves in our existence here for a little bit, um, and there's a few other things. Of course, Big Freak was out at Super Indie, and uh, I think we'll talk about that here a little bit, um, perhaps. Uh, but uh, is there anything else fan wise that I'm missing, guys? I think we got it all <laughs> locked down. Uh, Matt Car- Carlin said that uh, if Chachi's being nice to you, it's because he's made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely true. Exactly. No way, because I'm nice to you guys all the fucking time. All the time. Adjust the mustache. Yeah, I did. I, it, was, it was starting to come off. I got too much Gatorade in the mustache. <laughs> awesome. Well, with that... Mustache is waterlogged! I think it's time for Wrestle Fans Amateur Falling Down. It's the... This Week in Indy. This week in indie wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of good stuff here. It, because it's appreciation, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... You're going to... Oh, he's shutting up. Oh, he's muting. He's muting. Oh. Hey, ah, you know what, WrestleFan? Now go. Go before I change my mind. Because it's <laughs> WrestleFan <laughs> Appreciation Night, I'm going to sit here for the entirety of the wrestling... Of the what? indie minute. And I'm not going to say anything until we get to Super Indie because then I have something to say. Wow. This you know what I'm going to do? This is how you Since know I like you. appreciation night. going to jerk off? No, I'm going to sit here quietly like I do every <laughs> Go ahead, Russell I'll fan. i you to do uh, falling down. Uh, there you go. Uh, okay, so the first thing I want to talk about here in the indie minute that was pointed out to me was uh, our friends over at Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Um, apparently for their next show, they're having they're holding a very interesting uh, charity-based um, uh, fund uh, for their next event. And I believe Sorg knows a bit more about this. Uh, if there more information was on our Facebook open group, uh, that you can check it out, but it's, uh, it seems like it's something that's, you know, for a very interesting cause. Exactly. And actually I didn't know this. These guys actually got on the news. They have a clip from the last time they ran a drive like this is way before we were involved with them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they're, they're running a charity drive. Um, sorry, I got a bug here. Um, Mm -hmm. Over at rwalive.com, uh, you can find out more information. Uh, but it's the July 14th show that they're going to be having down in West Newton. You can find out more information. Um, they are going to extend a helping hand to Young Chow's grandfather. Zachary has already gone through too much someone's age. About five years ago, his brother was a victim of a homicide. Uh, since then, he's been uh, cared for by grandparents recently, though. His grandmother passed away in a house fire and took away precious items and memories. Uh, they'll be offering free tickets to Zachary and his grandpa so they can find an escape uh, that pro wrestling provides each of its fans. We will also be holding a donation drive for anyone to provide clothes and other items that are essential, listed below our clothing sizes, uh, so they have that there. Uh, there will be a large box place for items and do so. They're running, uh, you know, clothing and you know, helpful drive uh, for them. You know, that were hit, hit with this, and you know, that's one thing that's really cool because there are a lot of same faces that do go to RWA. It's a pretty close knit community that they're around the West Newton area, and and they're they're really connected to that. Uh, so it's really great to see them doing it. Uh, now we do have in the hangout uh, wheels. I don't know if you have any more information I don't, about uh, what's going on uh, with this drive. I. As as the you know you're a little closer to the situation. Uh, is there any more you want to add to that? Um, just that he's eight years old and he is a big wrestling fan. Um, a few things a few of us are gonna do. Some of us have like old wrestling maybe figures and mm. I guess uh Lindsay was telling me that they're gonna give him a wrestling ring with some wrestling figures and stuff like that. So cool, cool. if you come to RWA and you Maybe want to donate sh- shirts, clothes, anything wrestling related. Y- you know, this young man would probably like it very much. I mean, we, like Swerg said earlier, we uh, we like to extend a hand when we can, and fans of all ages, old or young, 
we're a family. That's what RWA is. It's a family of all of us, of the Sorgatron media, the fans, the wrestlers. I mean, we're all here for each other when something happens. But uh, other than that, everything that Sorg read to you guys uh, is basically what we know right now. Come check out the show, help out a good cause, and enjoy some wrestling. There you go. Thanks a lot, cool. Wheels. And uh, so go check that out again, rwalive.com, if you want to find out more information on that. And they have their Facebook uh, group and uh, page as well that you can follow and more information on that, uh, including a link to uh, their news thing from last time they were involved in something like that. Did you have something, Chachi? Could you not let me forget about this? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be talking about it here leading up to the well, show. I, it's just I, I do my volunteer work. Yeah. I have access to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles of clothing. Okay. Okay. Well, they got they got yeah, sizes on the site, so go check that don't out. Don't let me forget about this because I'll forget about this. Okay. You you want to know by <laughs> the time you do your next volunteer? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so th- that's that. Uh, Russell fan, what's the next item? Very cool. Uh, the next thing we want to talk about is a group that we have mentioned before on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem show. Something that Chachi uh, may be a bit interested in with this one. Um, our friends at $5, Five Wrestling, wrestling! <laughs> they are doing their first ever live iPay-per-view, which that is going to be something extremely, extremely special. Hey, hey, uh, here's a surprising fact for you. It costs five bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> five dollar wrestling. There we go. Well, it, uh, you can get five dollars for the live uh, iPay-per-view. I believe you can. it's ten dollars you get the pay-per-view and also you can stream it for uh, however long uh, it's available to be streamed. Uh, Twenty dollars you get the live iPay-per-view, the streaming, and also you get a free DVD. So it's definitely going to be a great deal for some really um, interesting wrestling. Um, <laughs> What's the main event? What's the main event? Uh, what is the main event? I, it I, is I, I, Freight Train versus Eugene. And uh, Freight Train uh, has, uh, has uh, apparently uh, had some amazing homemade uh, promo videos put online oh, that you need man. to go look up right now. Um, but yeah, it's over at uh, WWNlive.com, which I think is also handling the Ring of Honor pay-per-views, if I'm not I mistaken. So, yeah, I think, yeah, they handle a couple different big Dragon's guys. Gate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bunch of those. Uh, right. So it's somebody else, uh, you know, outside of uh, uh, Go Fight Live. Uh, so go check that out, of course. Um, it's Five Dollar Wrestling. Why not? Hosted by Cole Cabana and Marty DeRosa. I don't know who he is, but um, but yeah, go get go that check. Even the commentary is going to be funny. Least, it's amazing. Right? Marty DeRosa is a uh, comedian uh, in Chicago. Okay, right. he does a lot Back of work with uh, Cabana. Excellent, excellent. What we got next, sir? Next thing we want to talk about here is uh, something that uh, the good friends of Sorgatron Media were a part of this week, and that was IWC Super Indie, which was the big tournament event uh, from this past weekend. Uh, big, uh, apparently, it went off really great, and there was a lot of really great action. Um, I, uh, I wasn't there, but Sorg and Chachi and the rest of the Sorgatron Media crew were there, so I would love to hear what uh, they thought of the event. Uh, yeah, uh, well, first of all, the big thing, the big news out of it was, uh, um, well, first, Sammy Callahan uh, won the Super Indie Tournament, uh, being the defending champion of the tournament, uh, well, the defending champion, uh, Michael Facade, friend of the show there, um, after uh, three matches. And um, but the, but the news out of it, of course, uh, the two big guys, uh, advertised Ring of Honor guys, uh, Davey Richards and Kyle O'Reilly, did not make the show. Their car broke down about I think it was like halfway here um, at 2 p.m. that day. So obviously not enough time to find any replacements, suitable replacements, or even get the news out uh, practically uh, for people because you know people come. I know there was people from like Harrisburg area that came to the show. Uh, mm-hmm. So obviously you're not going to be able. They did offer refunds and everything. I don't think anybody really took it. No, uh, they, they, they think nobody. Well, I saw one guy jokingly start to walk out uh, yeah. in front of no, me. But, no one left. Everyone stayed. But uh, they got their money's worth either way. I think they did. I think they did. They they, <laughs> they instead of doing the uh, couple people get buys and it comes down to a three way at the end that they've done the last couple years. They went back to the old way of eight guys in single elimination one on one match in the end again. Sammy and Facade, of course. Um, but it was a damn, I think it was a damn good event. I think it, it was. was really well. Even, um, even, you know, minus those two guys, I think it was really entertaining. Chuck Taylor, I think that Chachi, that was your first experience seeing Chuck Taylor. He's really big in Chikara, of course. Um, uh, Ray Rowe made his return. Yep. Uh, Dennis Gregory made his return in a five way. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm barely getting you on the mic. I, I am relaxed. Up. I'm sorry. Your face <laughs> is sorry. 
Your face has a mustache. It does. Good observations. I'm stroking it. These are all true facts. Um, but but, no, uh, but yeah, it was a great yeah, show. Yeah, they made a return in a great match. It was all. It was good. Was chess flex or becoming the number one contender? And I gotta say, a lot of people are like, "Oh, come on!" But come on, this is it, it's gonna be a match at Proving Grounds, which is gonna be a, uh, a it, it's gonna be a young talent initiative is the subline of it. So it's all young guys. It's gonna be a cheaper show for people to get into IWC, hopefully. Uh, and check out what they have to offer there before they, they come back and do huge shows in, in August. Uh, they're doing Legends in, up in Butler, PA, and they're going to be doing uh, the big Cage Fury show uh, the week after that. So um, I think I think I think it was it was entertaining. It was unexpected. I think it delivered on all accounts as usual. And it did. Uh, and I, I don't know, you know, I guess I'm producing the DVDs and you're shooting them. So we, we kind of have a vested interest. But I wouldn't be doing this stuff if I wasn't a fan. And I tell you, I tell you when a show sucks. Right. You know, I mean, I we did too. just like that ladder match. Right. I mean, that's our DVD. It and was terrible. I, we're very honest. About I it. own it, and <laughs> I don't want to watch it. We're, we're 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 very honest about that. But again, you know, I thought RWA had a great show with their cage match and TLC match the last show. Right. Um, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you that to the moon if I believe it. You know, um, that that's one you need to get. You know, but I'll tell you which ones maybe maybe you want to pass on. So, <laughs> so um, very good. All right, what else we got? Anything else that comes back to me here? Back to you, I don't believe. Well, I mean, actually, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, uh, there's something big that is happening uh, coming up this weekend. Uh, Ring of Honor is going to be in Pittsburgh, PA, making their return uh, after I believe, a couple of years now since they've made their return to uh, Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's going to be a very interesting event. The main event will be uh, for the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. Kevin Steen will defend against Roderick Strong, uh, which is going to be a great match. Uh, there you see uh, some of the names announced. Rhino. Uh, Jay Lethal, the Briscoes, Bruno San Martino will be there. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a really great event. Uh, Saturday, June thirtieth, the Ross Draver Ice Gardens. Uh, go check them out. Get your tickets at rohwrestling.com, and go check them out if you're in the Pittsburgh area because that's gonna be a really awesome uh, event. Awesome. And and the final thing I want to note here is from the Texas area because not only was Super Indy. Uh, a big tournament that happened this past weekend. This past weekend was the ACW American Joshi Queen of Queens tournament. Uh, I attended the event in San Antonio, Texas. Absolutely phenomenal event. Um, I, I would definitely encourage anybody who, when the DVD comes out, to order it. Not a bad match on the card at all. Um, you, we saw some of the greatest female wrestlers, honestly, uh, in the U.S. compete to be the 2012 Queen of Queens. I would highly recommend the match between uh, former WWE Women's Champion Jazz and a uh, friend of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, Rachel Summerlin. That was a very highly competitive contest. The contest. Um, everyone was on their feet. It was awesome. It was awesome showing. Um, Athena, the wrestling goddess Athena, uh, won the 2012 uh, American Joshi Queen of Queens uh, by defeating uh, the WSU uh, champion Jessica Havoc in the finals. And here's uh, some of some... Wrestle fans pirated footage of the uh, celebration. Pirated foot- it's it's a, it's just the, the celebration. There's no there's no pirate here. No pirate bit here. Um, <laughs> what? I, I don't know. Oh, hey, it's your birthday. You can make no sense or whatever. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was it was it was a great event all around. Uh, both the females, there were also some male matches on there. Uh, uh, Matthew Palmer retained his hardcore title against former WWE star Rodney Mack, not just for the world hardcore title, but in the return of the five minute white boy challenge. <laughs> For anyone that watched WWE Raw in 2003 when Rodney Mack was relevant. Uh, <laughs> So that, and it, it was a great event all around, and also very shocking news came from that event, um, as uh, the, a moment that many people uh, refer to as hell freezing over. Um, Darren Childs, who was the promoter, who is the promoter for Anarchy Championship Wrestling, introduced a friend of the Wrestling Mayhem show, Brandon Oliver of River City Wrestling. Um, for those that don't know, uh, with a lot of companies that happen in the same, you know, area, they had a, they've had a feud going on for a little while. But it seems that they have uh, put aside their differences, and apparently for River City Wrestling at their August fourth event, uh, they are going to be holding a big uh, River City Wrestling versus ACW Wrestling match. Uh, where uh, former Shimmer Women's Champion and uh, current RCW International Champion Alyssa Flash will be going one-on-one with friend of the Wrestling Mayhem show, Rachel Summerlin. Um, So that is going to be a great event in order to prove who is the best female wrestler. I'm sorry? I said, woo, Rachel Summerlin. 
Yeah, that's that's definitely. Uh, to prove that who who truly is the best in Texas. Uh, so that's going to be a really great event. Uh, if you want more event uh, information on that event, that's August 4th. Uh, at Go to RiverCityWrestling.net to go check that out. Uh, and that is this week in indie wrestling. Excellent wrestle fan. Uh, I'm looking at real quick. Somebody just sent me. Okay. Apparently, apparently this is Freight Train's uh, video. I, I'm oh, sorry. I don't my. have audio on this one. So uh, <coughs> you can go check it out. Freight Train, the greatest promo of all time is the title. Uh, it's actually over on High Spots uh, YouTube page if you want to go check that out. So there's actually it's a, it starts with a video of apparently him wrestling at a North Carolina wrestling show. Uh, what the hell? Well, visually, it's already interesting. Well, there he is. There he is. <laughs> obviously, Ooh, it's train. obviously, self shot. Uh, tremendous, <laughs> tremendous. Go check that out, of course. Um, so, with that, let's go check out what's going on when Wrestling Mayhem Show Gold. This is stuff that's straight from the app. Here's a couple of little clips. Go get that on your iTunes and Amazon app stores, and we'll be right back. Uh, and here's a little uh, clips, of course, from uh, RWA's uh, Unleash Four from just a couple weeks ago. We'll be right back. I got I got mango Gatorade in my mustache. <laughs> you have wrestle fan has questionable fan friends, and he has a questionable mustache. Oh no 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 no! If I I can watch it on my desktop, but not on my Xbox. Oh, it's kind of like one of those things that HBO Go where they approved it on one device but not the other. Bingo! Through, and through I provider. called Time Warner's uh, Twitter account out on like, what would you be willing to pay per month for WWE programming, basically? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do this then. Um. I am tired of lying, I am dying to try it, man. I bumped up in the hydro with the fire inside. Sitting on top of the world, you're gonna climb it. I'm gonna get a hug in the bus, I'm gonna climb it. I'm gonna get a hug in the bus, I'm gonna Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Welcome back. And uh, let's uh, go to another edition of Remember When? Now this week on Remember When, I thought we'd do a special one. Uh, maybe not so much about wrestling, but I want to remember when WrestleFan. Mm. Not about wrestling. <laughs> In that it's in my it's name. About a wrestle fan. And I remember the time that he visited us in our fair city of Pittsburgh. Oh, oh. God. And I remember. <laughs> stop moving the camera. Stop moving the camera. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> There's an earthquake in here, apparently. Um, the freight train's still going on my other computer, too. Um, <laughs> it's a freight train. It's weird. I, I did not want to see that far up his nose. Um, but no, WrestleFan had joined us here in Pittsburgh for the very first time, of course, uh, checking out the sites. We're showing him around him and his mother and his brother. And we had to take him to the hottest ticket in town that ha ha had no tickets. Um, we went to stock the uh, the furries. Anthrocon. Oh, that's right. That's right. So we went to check it out, you know, as, as we usually do down there. I didn't get to make it down there this year, unfortunately. Down, what is that? The West End down there across from the convention center where most of them stay coming in and out of the lobby in their full fur suits, the whole nine yards. And uh, and it was a, a heck of an experience from from the, this this small family from Texas. Um, so I, I, I remember your brother was staying, strangely intrigued by them. E yeah. <laughs> yeah, they they kind of sucked him in. I think. I think it was the combined <laughs> smell, the the combined smell of fur and methamphetamines. And his, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so that's my remember when uh, when they when they when the Russell family uh, met the furries. Uh, anybody else have a Russell fan remember when? That same night, I smacked him in the face. You did. <laughs> <laughs> there is proof somewhere. Is proof somewhere? No, there is. Why it's... did you smack him in the face? Because he told me not to. Oh, <laughs> that's a good. Like enough. we, like uh, real you, life heel shit. Well, uh, you guys <laughs> stuck us in the back of the uh, of the rendezvous, which was a great idea, sort. Thank because you. Because <laughs> the the front seats were all full. Yeah. And I pretended to hit him, 
and he flinched, and he's like, don't. And I hit him, because he said <laughs> don't. It's his fault. He asked for it. He was asking for it. Hmm. Um, but Wrestle that. Fan, I, I, I recorded an audio greeting for you on your special day. Okay? You ready for this? I, I guess. There we go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What about you, It LB? was fart noises. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know what it was. Uh, I remember two things about WrestleFan. I remember when I remember um, when I first met him. I think the first thing I said to him was, uh, where's the rest of you? <laughs> <laughs> because he was, he was about a foot and a half shorter than I expected him to be. Um, and the other thing I remember is the uh, the road trip to uh, go see Chikara because uh, he rode in the then Lunchbox, Lunchbox Mobile. And I just remember shouting the weirdest stuff at other cars. <laughs> yeah, we, you said you were going to kill a guy and uh, bury him down by a river. And then we sang <laughs> Poke Face. Oh, I think yeah, that audio was still face. somewhere on my phone, yeah, but I had no it's... clue. Yes, I remember all that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What about you, AJ? You got anything? I remember the first time I ever heard WrestleFan. Oh, God. <laughs> and I remember thinking to myself, he's got to be, like, really young. Like, really, <laughs> really young. And then I found out how young you were, and I went, whoa, that's a whole lot younger than I thought. <laughs> and then I think about, like, my younger brother. Because my younger brother is seven years younger than me. And you're younger than he is. And that just makes my mind hurt. <laughs> so I remember just making fun of you, and I haven't stopped. So it's a remember <laughs> when every week for me. Awesome. Uh, Hangout, uh, you're still in here. Let, let's, let's go around the horn. you have any uh, Russell fan memories going on? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is... I don't remember any... That is the, well, the only time. The only time Russell fan came to Pittsburgh, I was out of town. Oh, well, so it was kind of, yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't exist. <laughs> well, He's a hologram. We, we know he. We know he is a paradox. He takes yeah, yeah. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, he's a. Yeah, that's about it. And <laughs> Let's see. My memories. I never met the little weirdo in person, but. But what I used to every uh, watch a show, and, which I still do, is uh, I always thought the little guy was like two years old when he'd be talking. And then I saw him like, well, okay, he's not two. He's about 12. <laughs> now you're 19, is it? Lies. Wow. No, That's I'm what Skype tells me. Like you know, you're five. You're just I'm seven. Five. You're Russell still alive. But happy birthday, Russell fan. Um, I will say I this. have a special guest uh, that remembers that? him. Two weeks ago, oh, no. two weeks ago you, you said he was uh, not going to be on the uh, show. The oh, he's back, really? No. On I love the puppet. I love the puppet. AJ, what are you saying? What was that? Like a couple weeks ago, I'm still jiggling on the stream. Uh, <laughs> 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 it was that a couple of weeks ago where we had uh, whoever it was that was younger than WrestleFan, and I went, "Holy crap! Somebody finally made it sound like WrestleFan's balls dropped." That's amazing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't Absolutely. remember how old uh, that was person like, was, but was it was just it was, was somebody who hangout. had a higher voice oh, than yeah, WrestleFan. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were all self-conscious you know, about being completely inappropriate <laughs> because I was a kid. I was, yeah. Yeah. With the minor, you guys are the only ones I let talk about my balls dropping. Let's just give, let's just get that out. Well, there. You, you know what? In, in all fairness, uh, Russell fan, we give you a lot of shit. Fifty-one weeks a year, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> because whether you're here or not, we're still giving you a lot of shit. And, and, but you know what? Uh, we do it because we like you. You bring good stuff to the show. Uh, we have good conversations, both on and off air. Great interviews. Uh, great interviews. 
it, the show wouldn't be the same without you. So regardless of what we say about you, it, we're actually fans. There you go. There you go. Now he's going to cry. So, see, I, I, can, I can be genuine. <laughs> Can it we just, do a this is your life thing next year for <laughs> WrestleFan where we like bring out random people from his past? Oh no, don't do that. Oh <laughs> now it's on. Let's start digging. Do you, do you remember on. your mom, WrestleFan? <laughs> <laughs> I do. She's oh right God, behind if we put you. Wrestlefan's mom on the show, that'd be amazing. No, never. I would uh, we could do we could do at least two hours with WrestleFan's mom on the show. I think just straight just didn't we try to do that before? And she uh, keeps saying no. Yeah, we like she was. This is back when she used to walk in the background because <coughs> the computer's in the living room because she didn't trust them on Facebook. <laughs> I was, I that's my presumption. That. <laughs> that's my presumption. I thought so. Oh, uh, it's good stuff. <laughs> well, thank She's, you, wrestling fan. She should fan. trust him on Facebook. There's a lot of sex thing that goes on on Facebook. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Got to got watch his innocent little mind. I don't know why he's on here. Um, the puppet's back in the hangout, apparently. <laughs> puppet! There he is. There he is. All I right. <laughs> and with, and with that, let's go to Mad Mike's Minute of Mayhem. Greetings, Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's Mad Mike once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Now, I realize it's WrestleFan Appreciation Day. Even though I don't know why we're really appreciating him. Uh, it's just his birthday. You know, I, I don't think we had a Mad Mike appreciation day when it was my birthday. Just saying. But um, if we're talking about favorite WrestleFan moments, which I don't know if you guys are or not. But if we are, then um, my favorite was when WrestleFan um, cried. Because he was a much better actress than the pregnant drug addict on Impact this week. I'm just kidding you, little fetus. Of course, we all love you. Big F's Russell fan. Happy birthday, sir. You little fucker. Choose a Facebook profile and stick with it. Um, but uh, as far as Impact goes, Impact was another good show this week if you avoid the last ten minutes of it, which I highly suggest you do because oh man, was it bad. It was, it was very TNA-esque and if you know what I mean by that, well, then you know it was pretty bad. Um, I was also listening to last week's show, and I wanted to make a contribution or two. Um, as far as Rey Mysterio moments, um, well, when Rey Mysterio has a match with Kurt Angle at the 2002 SummerSlam, that was just a really, really awesome match. If you haven't seen that one, I highly suggest you go back and watch it. But also... Um, as far as the hate mail goes, the I, I just wanted to confirm what the guys were saying, that Sorg would send out a weekly email asking us how we can make the show worse. And in fact, um, this, this is a true story, that email was the reason that I took a job where I couldn't be on the Mayhem show, and it was also the reason AJ moved to North Carolina. Because we both realized that with us on the show, as much as we were, the show was never not going to suck. Um, so, I mean, you know, AJ and I still love the Mayhem fans, still love the Mayhem universe, so we contribute our brief little segments here and there, AJ with his voicemails, obviously, and me with this minute of Mayhem. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, if you really want to blame anyone for the disappearance of myself or AJ from the show, uh, blame Sork, because he wanted to make the show worse each week, and the quickest way he could do that was have a lot more of WrestleFan, Riz, and Bobby, and a lot less of me and AJ. Yeah, uh, that, I mean, but, although, I have to say, since, you know, the countdown, we're at, uh, T-minus one week, and since I'm gonna be in town... I apologize to all the haters, but next week's Wrestling Mayhem show is going to be awesome because I'm going to be, I don't know if I'm going to be sitting on the couch or on Chachi's lap or Chachi on my lap, I don't know. We, we never know how we're going to work these situations. So, I mean, stay tuned to a normal crap this week and then just be prepared next week for an awesome show. All right. That's Mad Mike this week, bitches. See ya. Uh, I'm right here.
So <laughs> apparently, um, somehow, some way, still making it onto the show. Uh, but he is speaking complete fact. Um, I had to walk away. I had to walk away from the game. It was tough. I had to walk away. Uh, to what was that guy's name? Guy in Arizona. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's a <laughs> hater. You know what? This week, this week is for you. I'm bringing the fucking noise this week, and this is for you. This is for you to understand how great this show normally was a while ago when Mad Mike and I were on the show all the time. Now we're not here. Now the show sucks. and You caught, like, a shitty week. So you know what? Enjoy said shitty week. And you know what? Stop hating on my man Chachi. Chachi's the man sitting on a couch in uh, Pittsburgh. The second. Is oh, it fuck you. <laughs> you're not on. You're in a chair. You're not on a couch. Are you on a couch? Uh, I guess technically it's a love seat. So. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm. I'm well, the, what Chachi sits on is kind of a love seat. I mean, do we really want to split hairs here on furniture? Right now, he's the greatest guy sitting on the couch in a basement talking into a microphone. Does that help you? That's good. No, yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. uh, he's outside smoking. Well, uh, this uh, is for this a is loss. Complicated. Regardless, I'm on the show right now, so open your ears, pay the fuck attention. Bo Diggity is in the building right – well, in this building – <laughs> a great distance away broadcasting to this building we got you exactly so uh thank you thank you for that uh, mad mike and clearing the air on all that going on um all right i had a few uh, news items here for the round table guys first of all i wanted to call out a, a site that i discovered um you guys know wikia you know what a wiki is wikipedia yeah. stuff like that oh well, there's a and and, and and this is the same site like I've been rewatching Doctor Who and I've been diving into the the yeah, TARDIS files and that's I think also a Wiki site. Um but this one is uh there's actually is a pro wrestling dot All right, pretty cool, right? Uh but but then I started looking at a couple profiles and well if one you know, one it's funny, you know, it has everybody as their real name as far as wrestlers go. Like uh okay, Loki's name is Brandon apparently. Um Needed to know that, uh, but you, but I guess <laughs> Wikipedia is the same way. Uh, but my only problem is okay, da, da, yeah, they are Loki and Senshi in, in uh, total nonstop action. Second season of XT, the performance SmackDown. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you know what? Somebody actually did change it since the other day when I was on here, because <laughs> I swear two days ago it said that he is currently under contract with World Wrestling. Oh no, it actually still says currently. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, AJ's coming <clears throat> back. I just talked so much shit that my cable modem rebooted. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a joke. It literally rebooted. It's sitting here on my desk, and I just looked. I, I saw everything just stop, and I turned and looked, and all of the lights were blinking. <laughs> That's how much shit I can talk. Thank you. Greatest promo Thank you. man in this part of North Carolina. <laughs> Woo! But anyways, this is, I mean, it's a wiki page on wrestling. Please, everybody, go there and fix all the errors. Like, uh, like this tense thing that's going on. He's currently signing the World Wrestling Entertainment, uh, but the next line down, he was released from the WWE contract on December twenty third, twenty ten. So, uh, you know, not as great as the Wikipedia community, but still, it's a nice start, and I'd love to see something like this kind of grow into something really cool. Um, that that would be a resource because I mean, you know, some stuff like, you know, we have like what was that on online world of wrestling or something like that where oh, it's yeah, usually I where that. you end up with, i mean it's still around but it's a lot of it hasn't been updated in a while and i think it's just like a guy that's doing it or something like that like it's not open editable yeah, like really something like this is you know whereas if you go on a wikipedia page and usually within a couple of days something like a title change for like in iwc gets added to somebody's profile like for say sammy callahan probably has a profile on there it's probably already says he's super indie champion what page Which i've seen that What's that? What's the page? On Wikipedia. Oh, or this one? Yeah. Uh, this is prowrestling.wikia.com. I know you just went out for a smoke, so. I, um, find it, I mean, no, they, I went out to shave. Shave? Yeah, I shaved. My mustache is gone. Oh, I put it on my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> so if I do this. You just fucking pulled that out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, sorry. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Wrestle fan? 
But uh, yeah, what I was, I find it kind of interesting, you know, that kind of aspect. If you also look up, I think there's like a bunch of like wrestling databases too, where it's just like wrestlers win loss records and like, you know, what, and it's, and it's updated pretty frequently to the point where, you know, it's kept up that well. It's insane for somebody to be doing that, you know? It's one thing people that do it, like with baseball, uh, you know, but this is wrestling. You Sammy know. Callahan's page is updated. It is updated. It's and it. and cited. Ooh. Uh, no. Ooh. Yeah. Um, also, uh, if you watch a WWE pay per view and then go look at uh, Wikipedia for the event, you will watch the matches update live. Nice. nice. Yeah. That's they're true. like, there are people who are just like, I want to be the person who updated the Wikipedia page that said that John Cena beat the Big Show. With so much and, time, somebody sitting there with a damn stopwatch, uh, time in these yeah. matches, bell to bell. And, yep. and it's, I'll have to it's, keep that in mind because I can't tell you how often I'm just like reading recaps and refreshing the page over and over because I'm, you know, talking to Jesus in the Lord's house and want to be also keeping up with uh, wrestling. And well, they don't, they're not like updating like a play by play. They're no, just no, like I mean, keeping even up with the matches. Like, oh, uh, CM Punk defeated Daniel Bryan and and Kane. Well, that match yeah. result will be this there. is how like, long it was. immediately as it happens yeah. with the time and everything. I can get behind that. Yeah, but I, it won't give you like a you know Daniel Bryan went for a sunset flip on CM Punk two count, and then you know the next segment that's not yeah. in there. And, yeah, the, and a lot of like, times, the like, no way out has the background of everything yeah. and the results, <laughs> and it's like that. God bless you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I tried to cover that. That's all right. That's all right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's a really good resource. And we cited it a lot when we're bringing it up, like, oh, who was the guy in WrestleMania 2 that did da 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 da? It's all there. <laughs> who was the guy that Lord Tensai looks like? Oh, Quang! <laughs> I, don't, oh, dang. I don't know about that one, but uh, yeah, I wonder. <laughs> Tensai. I don't think it will come up with Quang, but well, Tensai comes directly up with a page. So I, mean, I bet, do I a bet page there's of... like a uh, uh, like a Wikipedia page of uh, WWE faux Asian characters, <laughs> <laughs> like a list, just a list of the people who weren't Asian but they said were Asian. If not, there should be one, and you can start one. That's the beauty of Wikipedia, right? Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, exactly. Tensai, Gail Kim. She's not Quang. so Asian. Oh <laughs> She's really Asian. She's just from Canada. Well, yeah, that's not all Asians are from Detroit. Asia. You know, the times have changed, Russell fan. Just like uh, where you're at, not all the Mexicans are from Mexico. Lies. Lies. That's a complete lie. Anyways, um... Yeah, so go go up to that. ProWrestling.Wikia.com. Please. Please do that. Please do that. Also, I just wanted to point out, this was on the page. I think, uh... I, I noted here, but I don't know if I did this appropriately. I think John Fun posted this on the on the open group on Facebook. Uh, but have you checked out, guys, the adventures of Stansky and Rosenberg, episode one? Oh my god! What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're rhyming in this video. I approve of the above. I my uh, I think there are a couple episodes in on this by now. Um, but <laughs> there you go. Um, they're doing like an NWO thing now, it looks like. Uh, but go check that out. I'm glad that's still going. The Twitter is still going. I have no idea if that's still him, but it's been. Uh, Did anyone follow? Does anyone follow Stan Stansky on Twitter? I do. I do yes. actually. You don't. And he don't give a Stan fuck. Stansky. You don't give a fuck about nothing. No, he doesn't. <laughs> there's, there's Stan Stansky, but that's not the actual Stan Stansky. It's uh, because I follow him, and then uh. uh Whatever the fuck his real name is, I follow him as well. They argue all the time. <laughs> Whatever the fuck his name is. Hey, actually, I don't think we talk. I don't forget if it happened since the last episode or before. But did we talk about what happened to Cranky Vince on the show? Yeah, I think we did. So. Did we? That uh, that yeah. supposedly yeah. it was suspended. Um, uh, but Premium it, Vince wasn't. But Premium Vince wasn't. Uh, but supposedly but, it's it's a staff member. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So. It's, now, now it's back though. Cranky Vince is Cranky Vince again. Awesome, awesome. So, so that that's good to hear because that's been a source of entertainment, especially in the uh, Google Hangouts for a while now. So. I want that to be real. <laughs> I want that to be so very real. 
<laughs> I want it to be a real staff member who's really tweeting the shit he says. <laughs> like, the whole Cuba thing during the WrestleMania was possibly one of the funniest things I've ever read. <laughs> exactly. And that's, and that's interesting, because that's shit we'd make up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, that, that's why, you know, this our brand of humor is not for everybody. But there are guys like this doing this kind of stuff that humor us, you know, that... <laughs> this is exactly what we're talking about, you know, that we are down with. Uh, just this ridiculous shit on a uh, on a Twitter account like this. I mean, uh, the the John Cena Ruse guy, or was it R U L S? Right, John Cena Rolls, 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 one of the best wrestling Twitter accounts you can follow. Easily, easily. <laughs> Same with Cranky Vince, you know. WWE, fuck you, you know. But chin. Any of you Spanish pig fuckers know what to do when your cock's stuck on a couch? Who said that? That's the latest cranky bits. <laughs> I mean, this in is hotel kind of lobby, slight erection. Oh, great bluegrass music. <laughs> did, you say, did you say stuck in a couch? Stuck it, stuck in the couch. Get the scissors. Get the scissors for the couch. For the oh, couch. Oh yeah. no! Shachi's okay. <laughs> been in this situation yeah, before. For the Not the way. It's fabric. And you that, can just cut the cushion. That picture is disturbing in the background. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was a picture of a dick stuck in the couch. No, 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 no. the picture Thankfully in the background not. looks like what Vince wants every single one of his wrestlers to look like. <laughs> Wait, what is okay? And I, I just, I just uh, stuck this in here for your pure weirdness. This is one posted on. So I probably bring the hangout up, and I used the right mouse. This is one that was posted by Riz. So let's bring the hangout. Let's bring them into the conversation here. Hi, Riz. yes. Hi, Riz. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So. What I do now? You posted an article that was the uh, top ten least threatening looking professional wrestler named Ricky. Yep. <laughs> Please explain what's going on here. There, that, that, why do you need uh, confirmation with that? That's exactly what it means. <laughs> yep. If you look at the people on that list, they are pretty uh, non-threatening. We got Ricky Ortiz. Yeah, not threatening. <laughs> Ricky non-threatening. Ortiz, not really uh, threatening. Ricky. Who's Ricky? Look, at, look at the last guy on there. Ricky Santana. Hold on, we're going through. All. Ricky Gibson. Okay, okay. Um, and this is at uh, progressive progressiveboink.com or in our this, open. Can I can I bring Boink. this up? This is actually written by a guy that I tend to quote a lot on the show, but not give credit to. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank that AJ, you. And that AJ is fine for me. I'm going to give credit to this. Uh, Brandon Stroud, who writes. Uh, this column on Progressive Boink, which is his arbitrary Friday list, which is always about something different. His best was uh, ranking the top seven of Michelle Tanner's uh, friends from Full House. It's amazing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but he also does a uh, he also does a best and worst of Raw column on uh, withleather.uprocks.com, which is really awesome. And I, like I said, I tend to quote that column hey. a lot and not give him credit by accident. But you know, there you go. Have you guys been listening to the or watching the uh, Raw and SmackDown in five minutes YouTube page? That uh, is amazing. <laughs> I've not checked it out. So, it, what are they doing? That's it's, that's different. It, oh, the uh, five minutes. Yeah, uh, it's basically a recap, but with different like stuff in, like funny stuff in there, like all the weird moments of Raw and SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And it's, it's really, pretty it's really much hilarious. just awesome. Hey, like, so- I just watched this week's episode on Raw. It's- <laughs> yeah. You know, like when AJ's talking to herself in the mirror, uh, <laughs> bashing Cody Rhodes shows up in the mirror. <laughs> Riz, you're still an asshole. <laughs> I am not. That's, that's funny. What? Why are you an asshole for that? Because he says it to me. He's like, watch it, watch it. And I watch it. I'm like, oh, and you AJ. loved and it. And all of a sudden... Boom, I see Cody Rhodes' face. You love it. Oh, were you jerking it? Are you mad because you were jerking it and suddenly found yourself jerking it to Cody Rhodes? <laughs> That's I, the I kind of the thing you need to embrace. But I just kept going. I just kept going. You just got to keep Accident. going. Hey, it's only smoke and mirrors. Accidental gay Whoa. movements are what makes America great. Oops, oops, I accidentally grazed that guy's nutsack in the gym on Thursday. <laughs> bless, God bless America, let's go eat some ribs. What 
Oops. Accidental Oops. grazing I, show title. Oops, I accidentally found out what Cody Rhodes' semen tastes like. God bless America. <laughs> Oops, I found out that the Triforce is also shaved into his pubes. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about me? <laughs> no, I'm talking about Cody Rhodes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or both. He has a triforce it does not pubes. matter. <laughs> wow! You have to assemble all the pieces. So you have to get Chachi and Cody Rhodes. There's like, there's like a patch of leg hair on the back of the right leg. There's some thigh hair somehow. <laughs> somehow. Oh my god! He's got some upper back hair, and once you form all three, <laughs> then you can accidentally find out what Cody Rhodes even tastes like. It forms the wings from the newer Triforce logo. Oh. <laughs> 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 so it's an interesting time to bring up hey Matt Carlin joins us in the hangout for I think the first time <laughs> how you doing <laughs> I'm getting more than I bargained for Sorg that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> what a night for you to join in on the hangout holy hell <laughs> all, all, all I wanted Force to do was drop hair. in and tell Russell fan that he was appreciated I didn't think I was going to get any of this <laughs> <laughs> don't lie to him Matt don't give him the thrill Exactly. Yeah, he's gonna think you like him or something. <laughs> can, can, can I can I say this though? Because um, I don't get always get a chance to listen or to watch the video, so I always end up listening on the podcast. Mm-hmm. And uh, I like I I I'm probably watching video for the first time in like a month or so, and it's like Russell fans grown up, Zorg's hair is gone. Chachi was in like a dictator costume last week. I'm like <laughs> totally messed up. I don't know everything changed like while I was not watching. Exactly. We we all grow up here on the show. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm a dictator. <laughs> so, but most of the time he's just a dick. Yes. <laughs> most of the time? Most? All the time. Exactly. Thank you. Sorg. Yes. Speaking of like that wiki wrestling thing, mm-hmm. I was just doing searches and I found wrestlingdata.com and it even has RWA in it. From the first show to the most recent one. So somebody's actually here. I brought it up here, and it's very text-based, that's for sure. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we get, okay, like, here's uh, recent events. We got Raw 9- 996. They got the episode numbers and everything. And here's uh, the dark matches, um, all the match information, uh, information about match times event overall, seven matches <laughs> event known and with a known match time contained of 32, 46 minutes of in-ring action, since the match time of non-dark matches is not known, this is also combined match time of the whole main show. Wow. Somebody's yeah, doing Somebody this. took some time. But somebody this. has zero so, life uh, and knows nothing of what he Some people, like. some people. You know, what, you know what's really important to things like this? You know who, who, who is really important? The, the, the ADD guys. For <laughs> OCD guys, these are the guys. Like I, I have a friend that he, he's an OCD guy, and he is like break. He can tell you any <coughs> stat of professional arena, amateur arena football, like down to I don't even know. We lost uh, AJ again. Apparently. Bo diggity, Bo diggity's AJ no! <laughs> So he's calling back. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm getting pissed off at you, Time Warner. You're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Time after time, take that. Take that. But, no, no, but this is tremendous. But I'm not saying I'm, that there's a there's a supportive statement. Okay, the guys that do this are the guys like I must know every number, everything must be recorded, and now we have tremendous resources like this, and we'll probably yeah. freaking use this. This is amazing. Okay. Updated re- wrestler profiles, bunch of people I've never fucking heard of. There's a I, I found a fact that you won't find on that <laughs> website. Okay, and it's also. The coolest way I've ever seen someone, or I've ever heard of someone vacating a title. <laughs> uh, By accidental grazing. No, I'm in, I'm on <laughs> IWC's website, and okay. they, have, they have a title history. Yeah. On June 6, 2006, Dennis Gregory won the IWC Heavyweight Championship. He was later forced to vacate the title due to use of a sword... In a war games match. Yeah, that, that, was, yeah, was, there. that was the show before yep. we went. <laughs> yes, yep, that was. I was there for that. 
Remember, remember the guy that, that they threw very, eyeballs at like the awkward. next couple of shows? That's yeah. why that happened. Yeah, <laughs> well, that was very it. awkward of seeing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the greatest reason to de- vacate a title ever. <laughs> By use of sword. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Riz, who did he do that to? I he did that to uh, Dark. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, Doe. Surely yeah. Doe. It was Surely Doe. Doe. Cause Doe. After that, everybody carried those like fake eyeballs and threw them at Doe and to the ring. Hey, and hey, the weird he... thing is that wasn't his uh, sword either. It was actually his. Fun fact. If he used the katana, would have been a foreign object. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> but yeah, now that you say that, I do remember the next the next show because yeah. I was there. Yeah, next couple at least. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was funny. That was the greatest. That was the greatest reason to vacate a title ever. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. And I think really, I think he, he I, I think he ended up going to like yeah. one of his trips to Afghanistan yeah. or Iraq or something. So you know, so I mean, but but still, that was a great reason to do it. Um, yeah. Yeah, wow, I've only had this title history for a while. They've only had 26 champions. That's not bad. They're wow. not passing the belt around. And that's since uh, 2001 when the first one was Powerhouse Use. Huh. Not that anybody knows hmm. of that. Fourth champion. Matter of fact, I just ran into him today. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, by the way, uh, fourth champion, CM Punk. Fifth, Cole Cabana. Mm-hmm. He, uh, CM Punk had to vacate the title because he broke his neck. Okay. No, I know that one. Why do you know that one? I don't know. Oh, well, it's not- <laughs> <laughs> it, it says on the Why page that, that? <laughs> it, it says on the page that he vacated the title, and then I remember that there was a while where he couldn't wrestle because he broke his neck, so he had to go home. Like early in his career. Yeah. Wow. So, way to way to put that together. Way to problem solve. Hey, you know what? Don't uh, don't hey. don't judge me. Well, I I like I'm looking at the uh, the Super Indie Championship. Yeah. Number two, AJ Styles. Number three, Colt Cabana. Number four, AJ Styles. Oh, that's an even number, bigger who's who right there. Number five, Chris Saban. Saban, actually, he was undefeated for a long time. Yeah, he was. So, uh, John McChesney, Delirious is in there, low key. Uh, you know, Jerry Lynn. Larry Sweeney, Jerry Lynn, Gargano. Uh, Delirious is in there a couple times. Matt Justice, of course, we had on the show last week. Um,. So I came out Callahan. So I only 28 champions. <laughs> Jerry Lynn beat Larry Sweeney. And then in the notes it says, Lynn wins the Super Indy 7 tournament in April, but refuses the title until he can pin then champ Sweeney. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. In the finals. Yeah, I remember that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, real quick, can I point out that Go they actually it. have win loss records for everyone? Yeah, yeah. I noticed that. Yeah, uh, John Cena is two seventy one and eighty eight. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait, what? What page is that? Yeah, on the Just wrestling special data? statistics, and then you can click on Raw, and it has years, all years, nine hundred ninety six <laughs> events. You the are only well, person yeah, should, who has a. How about this one? Ready for this? Here's the top ten. There's one guy in here that doesn't seem like he belongs with anyone else. I'm going to start at number ten, and I think you're going to pick out pretty quickly who it is. Number ten, Rob Van Dam. Number nine, Canadian wrestler X. Number eight, Never Stone Cold. Number seven, Randy Orton. Number six, Triple H. Number five, Kip Gunn. Number four, The oh, Rock. What? Number what? three, The Undertaker. <laughs> number two, Shawn Michaels. Number one, John Cena. Kip Gunn go back, back five. Kip Gunn was one twenty seven and seventy nine, a Gunn? plus forty eight in two hundred and twenty two matches. What? Huh? Wow! Kip wow! Gunn. Yep. I mean, literally, you—the only guy that seems entirely more out of place is. God, and, and none of them are in the 200 match range. Everybody else uh, is like a legitimate top level star, and randomly, Kip Gunn. Right, well, even 19. Who's who the Kill hell it. is Marco Corleone with 38? That, that's Mark Jindrak. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. That's Why do you know that? that? that, 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 that that's Lucha Libre. Yeah, that's USA. Lucha Libre. He stalks He's right. him every day. <laughs> He's right. Um, Mark fucking Jindrak. Uh, How about CM Punk is 86 and 68? Wow. Huh. In WWE. In WWE on Raw. 
This is why Jeff Hardy, 138 and 120. Dude was barely batting 500. Was that this is why wrestling shouldn't be taken as a sport. Yeah, yeah, because there's so much. Win loss records are way off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's a whole other dimension. But I will point this out. They rank these on difference, which is the number of wins versus the number of defeats. John Cena is a plus 183. Wow. wow. The next closest guy is Shawn Michaels at plus 82. Wow. So John Cena has won 101 more matches than Shawn Michaels. Wow. That is so, insane. Well, look at it. Who else has had the run that he has? He's been around. They're talking about like celebrating his 10 years in the industry or in WWE alone. Even, even the great Triple H is only 40 matches ahead. 40 Which? total matches on Raw ahead of John Cena. And wow. Triple H's is a far more pedestrian plus 47. What did Edge retire at? Uh, Edge retired. He was mostly on SmackDown. So yeah, hold yeah. on. I got to switch shows here. Uh, <laughs> Edge retired at 103 and 90 in 206 uh-huh. matches on SmackDown. Wow. He's, he's, he's uh, ranked 22 on there. Rey Mysterio is, uh, is number one of the plus 90. Horns, Hornswoggle uh, has a higher win loss, re- has a higher win loss difference than Edge. Wow. <laughs> wow. That, like 14. that is uncalled. Here's a fun fact. <laughs> Sin Cara has the exact same win-loss difference as Edge. What's Barry uh, Horowitz? On WWE <laughs> Raw number 912, the Brooklyn Brawler made his return <laughs> against Ezekiel Jackson. I was just going to ask what his <laughs> record was. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, you can break it. I mean, this That's is amazing. You can break it down to like only main events, only openers, co- uh, considered yeah. events, most wins, most defeats, most matches. That is, yeah, and you, yeah, you can actually rank it by most wins, most defeats. <laughs> hey, if you want to take it back to like 1991, go back and just click superstars <laughs> and just remember your childhood. <laughs> Undertaker was 29 and 0 on superstars. Wow, that's like wow. that's defeated on super. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Kurt, Mr. When's, Perfect was thirty and zero. That's that's when's, incredible. Once, who's gonna be, beat the Undertaker's uh, superstar streak? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be on YouTube. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly, it'll be his YouTube streak. Um, <laughs> Kurt Hawk. This is this is. I'm I'm. I just found my time sink. This is. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my life right now because it's going to end terribly. It's just going to be me clicking wrestling data. Oh, my God. Did you know in main events on Heat, Owen Hart was 12 and 3. And I'm going to have all of these numbers off the top of my head So it's going to go wrong. So AJ gets a number of the week now on Wrestling Mayhem Show to end the show. Because now this is it. This is amazing. I'm not seeing the data part. What do you mean? I'm looking for the win loss record. I'm oh, that we're at? You yeah. where do you go to for it, AJ? Uh you click special statistics and it pulls up the show. This oh, also includes TNA. Oh, yeah, you got man. TNA, you got WCW. And old school ECW, <laughs> ECW. and all of WCW. Oh, and, they do and a whole heat. gang of uh, Mexico promotions. Lance too. Cade is twenty four and five on heat. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, do you well, see those numbers well, that are just well, gonna well, make your well, brain well, hurt? Well, AJ. <laughs> yes. AJ, something's going to go wrong with your Time Warner modem, modem and you're just going to absorb all the energy into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> James Storm something. has the highest win-loss difference on TNA. Who the fuck is this? At 106 a wrestling rain man. One above uh, DJ Lunchbox's Baby Mama Karma. Okay, so yes. Mark Mark Jindrak is 18-2 and two on Heat, which is better. Wow, or man. no, yeah, 18-2. and two. Which is better than Kane's nineteen and six <laughs> on Heat? <laughs> on Heat! <laughs> wow! Wow! The Undertaker is ninety four and sixty three in uh, pay per views, and main events only. Hulk Hogan number one at twenty and seven. John Cena wow. is thirty one and twenty three in main events on pay per views. This is the wow. sort of numbers I have in my hands now. <laughs> I mean, I dropped, I dropped into hardcore TV for ECW, and I asked myself. Who the fuck is Chili Willy? At number fourteen, <laughs> Chili Willy. Who's a who's a head of Terry that was Funk? My nickname in uh, in grade school. Oh yeah, <laughs> my nickname now. <laughs> it's, yeah, for real, it was. 
Wow. Uh, also, man. John Cena has wrestled. It ready? This this is just blowing my mind right now. John Cena has wrestled in fifty four pay per view main events. I believe yeah. it. I believe it. The only four. person there's two people who have more: Triple H at sixty two and the Undertaker at sixty five. Wow! Just What's unbelievable. For this site again. WrestlingData.com. WrestlingData.com. Oh, wait. Sean O'Hare, Batista, Randy Orton, and El Hijo del Santo <laughs> are, all oh four, are all four and L on heat. Did you, did you really just Wait, wait, click on them. I bet, you it's, I, I bet you it's S.A. Rios. Oh, my God. Because they use, like, their most recent name. No, it's uh, Jorge <laughs> no, no, Guzman. That's, that's, he's, like, a legend in Mexico. Yeah. Are you ready? You don't sell say El Hijo. Hijo. Uh, I don't speak this? Spanish. Oh, <laughs> so is super crazy and Kurt Angle. This, oh man! <laughs> all right, all right. So we move Jamie, on. All of Jamie the Noble numbers to in opening this, matches on Velocity. AJ, right. we have all of the numbers. I know. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Hey, this was Chili Willy. Oh man! Everyone wait, 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 else, wait, wait. everyone else Whoa. is in charge of insert coin. <laughs> oh. There's Chili that Willy. That was Chili Willy. That's it's Chili Willy. the corner. It's an Angel yeah. Fire website. <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous. Everyone else is in charge of insert coin. I, I'm busy. <laughs> oh my god, I, I don't even know what to do right now. Dude, Dusty oh, Rhodes has won more matches than anybody else. He's got the highest difference, uh, wins to losses, with, uh, he's got 2,031 wins, 222 draws, and 316 losses. That puts him at positive 1,315, edging out Bret Hart, who has 1,101. What number was that? Something draws. Dusty. Dusty Rhodes, not Dustin, Dusty. Hey, uh, here's a fun fact. Lex Luger and Booker T are tied for the most matches on Nitro with 164. <laughs> wow. The wow. closest to them oh is DDP with 143. My mind is blown. You can that go was, in here and break this down knowledge. by by category and it's and so and bad. countries. I don't know. Bill Goldberg decades. was 13 and one in main events on Thunder. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask why do I know why do I want to know these things? There's no other news this week because we just lost it to this. You know oh, god. okay. Hold on. Uh, oh my god, I'm breaking it down even further. Sting was seven and seven, two and one and made events on Thunder in nineteen ninety eight. Oh my god. <laughs> Getting you deeper into like the numbers. Like <laughs> Conan was four down, and four. Man, he just broke oh. down to number reception. Hey, like, n- wow. Wow. You know uh, what? Forget oh it. man. Sh- wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A draw. At 1993, <laughs> in main events, Look the top ten goes Look Kurt Henning, 4-0. He's getting sweaty. <laughs> Matt Bourne, 4-0. <laughs> Bam Bam Bigelow, 3-0. Brian Clark, 3-0. Undertaker, 2-0. Kevin Nash, 2-0. Scott Hall, 2-1. Scott Steiner, 2-0. <laughs> Brian Adams two and zero, oh, and Rikishi two and one. Um. Okay. Okay. There is a. What's your point? I don't have one. There isn't a point. It's just all right. All right. Here's, so here's something that's so gonna break you. Numbers. Here's something that's about to break you. Because uh, Ciro just Four. shared with us that ProFightDB.com has even more numbers. <laughs> oh, oh no. That's impossible. <laughs> I don't know, right off the bat, we got ROH, Chikara, CZW. My gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. AJ's just going to be the rest of the Matrix. (laughs) All right. All right. We got to pour ourselves out of the numbers. Back away from the numbers. We have the best number ever. WrestleMania 2 has the highest number of deceased participants in matches. 40% of that card is deceased. Holy shit. Wow. Adrian wow. Adonis, Hercule Hernandez, Junkyard Dog, and Uncle Elmer. All dead. <laughs> Uncle Elmer. These are the numbers that are Uncle there Elmer. at your hands now. <laughs> and I don't I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw them. I'm just gonna throw them. <laughs> wow. Um, I I but I <laughs> yes. Sword. Sword. Yes. I was looking 
like at the roster just to make sure they had everything updated correctly. They have it to the T that Buddy Stretcher was in RWA. Who? Which was the name of Samuel Elias in FCW. Hmm. How do huh. I find how do I find like RWA in this? I just Holy I did at the you just search there's for a it. search thing, yeah. Well, so I'm looking at ECW stats right now and I'm doomed. <laughs> 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 oh wait a minute. Oh Got man, it. hair matches. Hair matches Oh <laughs> uh, you know, hey, drop that down to blindfold man. <clears throat> there's forty pages of hair matches. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, time out. We have uh, the entire, uh, 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 what was this, uh, uh, Super Indie, all of the results already on WrestlingData.com. That's yeah. awesome. Gory wow. defeated Matthew Justice. Michael Facade defeated Pepper Parks. Sammy Callahan defeated Ricky Shane Page. Chuck Taylor defeated Aiden Vale. Chess Flexor defeated Dalton Castle. Dennis Gregory, Ray, Ray Rowe, and Super Hentai to become the number one contender. Michael Facade defeated Gory in the semifinals. Sammy Callahan defeated Chuck Taylor. Uh, the one-nighters, Bobby Beverly and Nikki Valentino defeated Blue Collar Slaughter. Uh, John McChesney defeated Logan Shulo by countout. And Sammy Callahan defeated Michael Facade to become the Super Indie title, or the Super Indie champion. All of that already on there right now. They have six pages of trainers! <laughs> <laughs> Just for A! Wow. You know what? Yeah, I'm not going to I ain't got shit to do velocity. tomorrow. Wow. I can, I can uh, beat that. Oh, wow. Uh, 26 was... people wrestled on WWF SummerSlam 1990. Nine of them are dead. Bad News Brown, Hercules, Earthquake, Mr. Perfect, Randy Savage, Sapphire, Sensational Sherry, and the Texas Tornado. All dead. They have family trees. <laughs> oh, my God. I can beat it. The Blue Meanie is undefeated on ECW pay per views. <laughs> undefeated. Bring that Everybody's speech back. Blown away. <laughs> Antonio Inoki defeated Masa, Sa- Masa Saito in a TKO in an island death match that lasted 125 minutes. <laughs> October 4th, 1987. The 16-man elimination tag match in Shikara at the Cybernetica Rebirth, October 22nd, 2005. Uh, there's just a whole gang of people. It was 104 minutes long. Somebody did this right. Oh, I, no, I, those matches I, are always. Good I'm breaking wrong. down. I just like I just picked somebody. I picked out Brian Mitchell. Sorry, Chachi. Uh, and, and they have it <laughs> broken down. One, it's an old ass picture of him. Um, but they have. I want to like, go. I want to find this match, and I'm sure that one of you guys has it. Wait, the IWA Mid South. Chris Hero defeats CM Punk in a two out of three falls match that lasted 92 minutes. Here it is: the complete Bret Hart family tree. Oh my god. It's like Game of Thrones with wrestling. (laughs) Bret Hart Hart is the brother of Allison Hart, the brother in law of BJ Anus. (laughs) 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 What a name! Good night, everybody. <laughs> all right, all right, we gotta get out of this rattle. Holy hell! I can't believe we just spent all this time on this. Uh, but it's worth it. it it's is, absolutely it worth it. Uh, well, you don't have to talk about news about what happened on Raw because you just see all the freaking facts and numbers for it. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, is there anything else we missed here, guys? We need to touch on before we head out. Thousand. I mean, uh, Brodus Clay is the son of Dick Murdoch. What? Yeah. What? That's really? Possible? No, yeah. the wrestler, not the famous guy. Yeah, you yeah, the sure. wrestler. Yeah, you didn't know that. No, oh, did not know that. Hey, the uh, wow. there were three dark matches at Raw, so here's some Raw news for you. Bray Wyatt <laughs> defeated Alex Riley. Bray Wyatt being uh, the Bye, WWE name of um, uh, Husky Harris, his new name. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah Which is also a uh, fun fact for everyone. Here's a Bo Diggity fun fact. I call my dog Husky Harris. <laughs> fact. Now it's outdated. Congratulations. Uh, Kofi Kingston defeated Michael McGillicuddy, and Darren Young defeated Epico. And in a two-on-one handicap match, John Cena defeated the Big Show and Lord Tensai in the dark match. Oh, Quang. Seems legit. Yeah, oh seems gosh. about right. <laughs> That's the kind of thing they put out there. So... Wow. There you go. Note. There's your raw news. On that note. All right. Uh, you know, TNA, they had another gut check. They had another uh, open fight night. Uh, Russell fan, you watched it, right? 
Uh, yeah, I, I did. It, it featured uh, it featured the ladies. Now you watched. Ladies. The, you were a big fan of the ladies. How did you enjoy uh, Miss? Uh, what was her name? Uh, Taylor Hendricks. She uh, is part of OBW, uh, but she has some some stuff. She has done some stuff in like the Ohio area and stuff like that. She, she's um, popped up, popping up in Shine. Shine, yeah, which is the new Shimmer uh, uh, side group. Um, yeah, and, and and she had a match with Tara, and it was actually pretty good. You know, it's a you know. Wow, look at it, that. It 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 was so it's interesting. I like what they're doing with the whole gut check thing. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, like I'll, I'll agree with what Van Rijk said. I thought TNA was really good until the ending. Uh, <laughs> oh God, that yeah. Yeah, I, I forget yeah. who, and I'm sorry I can't remember this. Uh, but somebody stated uh, uh, they didn't know that AJ Styles was married to CM Punk's sister. Yeah. So, I think that was me that said was that. that yeah. <laughs> was that you? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that was me. But, but um, that's probably why she's a kayfabe junkie. Yeah, <laughs> but for those that don't know, uh, there was a storyline going on between AJ Styles and Dixie Carter where it was alleging the fact that they were having relations. Um, for Al, Fuck that. we like, did the storyline years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> after, but after how many months of them prolonging this? And I'm glad the, they ended it, by the way. To the point where la- last week Dixie said, "I'm going to tell everyone the truth about the or the truth is going to come out about this next week," and, and everyone was pretty much like, "Uh, why don't you say it now?" Like honestly, like I don't think they know how like you know that kind of stuff. I it, it was weird, but it was revealed that no AJ Styles and Dixie Carter aren't in relations. Uh, AJ Styles' wife, or should I say wife, because that wasn't his real wife on TV. Um has a drug problem and that's why they were keeping it a secret for so long so that was an actress no, they that, hired i'm not saying that's her wife no that is that is man. not his real that is not aj's real wife but wait is it an actress or is it like another female wrestler no, no idea saying, i have never seen this person wrestle her. before so i highly doubt she's a female wrestler i'm guessing she's an actress what are you saying wheels i said uh they're not saying it's aj's wife they she was saying in the whole thing that AJ and Dixie were helping her get away from the addiction. They're Wait, so this is just a random AJ's woman? Wife. So this is just a random woman that they're helping. Yeah. And they had to keep yeah. it a secret for some reason. It's probably somebody in the comp- quote company that was having this problem. All right, it's a problem if we don't if we're confu- all confused on what's really going on with that thing. Yeah, I think we all tuned out because it was so bad. Why should I care? So, <laughs> so this is like so two weeks in a row on Impact. We've ended like had a really good shows, I thought, but ended with something really weird and questionable. Like, isn't it kind of weird that they just said we're not even going to acknowledge the thing that happened to Sting? Like, they actually said we're not even going to show the thing that happened to Sting last week. Yeah. Yeah, that was It's the same thing with the ninjas kidnapping Samoa Joe. <laughs> That's it. Why are you our screen? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There we go. I was doing that. Oh, okay. We're supposed to we're supposed <laughs> dancing Carlton. That's uh, all I wanted to do. Carlton uh, Otunga there. There you go. <laughs> now I'm back. But yeah, it's the same like I said last week, it's the Samoa Joe kidnapping. Yeah, yeah. So we're just it's gonna, gonna it's just gonna disappear. We're just gonna forget it happened. Speak. Exactly. Just forget exactly. it happened. Uh, Sting's probably gonna go in the jungle, get a knife, paint his face <laughs> a little weirder, and then come back out and bore us again. Yeah. So yeah. Oh my God. You can see oh the God. events on here by uh, now. When he, he's lost in the wrestling data. Oh no, no 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 no! <laughs> I'm goes. still in the numbers. Ready for this? WWE since <laughs> what year was it? 1963 <laughs> has had 18,057 events. That's house shows, Raw, SmackDown, pay per views, everything. 18,000 shows. There you go. There's a fun fact. Bruno San Martino. Held the WWE Championship for 4,040 days in two oh, reigns. Yep. Yeah, Here's won. a fun fact Kali is on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's a picture Kali of you guys on audio. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. On that note, holy <laughs> shit, look at the time. Um, yeah. 
yeah, uh, let's go around and guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? And I have a feeling half of you is about numbers. DJ Lunchbox. Oh my god, I learned so much from one website. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome. Um, I learned that it's not enough that WWE has to steal our storylines. Now TNA is stealing our storylines. If if for whatever reason it comes out that they were fucking in a hotel room and Jeff Jarrett was hiding in the closet, then we all need to check our homes for uh, microphones. There you go, there you go. Russell fan, what did you learn from your birthday? I learned, from, I learned that I am loved, sort of. But <laughs> um, I learned from wrestling this week that somebody, you know, there's always that one person out there that will spend their entire time making a wrestling database for every single thing that's ever happened in wrestling. They did it right. They did it the right way. So, so you got to give there them that. Go. Bo- we want to get some fresh air, though. Diggity. Bo fucking diggity. What do you want? Oh, fucking diggity has learned a great, great <laughs> many, many things this week. Things that he didn't want to know, things he never wanted to learn. Things like of all of the wrestlers of all time on Monday Night Raw, Chris Jericho leads them all with 176 defeats. Oh. There's your fun fact for the week. I'm, li- I'm letting it out on a low note. There you go. There you go. All right, let's, oh, Diggity's in all sunshine and rainbows, kids. Let's mm. toss it over. Oh, to Diggity the, brings the realness. To the hangout. Bobby FJ Town, what'd you learn? I learned that Chris Jericho aged considerably in 30 days. <laughs> he looked like Bon Jovi. He looked older. He was so skinny. Wheels, like, what'd you learn? Oh, go ahead, AJ. He literally looked like he walked out. I was like, holy shit, Bon Jovi. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he wait, even acknowledged that. He Not said, hey, bon I look like Bon Jovi. And then, like, grattled a couple other people off. The last one was Cher. I just know yeah, that one. Yeah, Cher. Oh, God. No, he didn't look like Cher. If you believe. Wheels, what'd you learn? Coach. What did I learn? I learned that after watching Impact last week, like you said earlier, it started off strong, it ended like. Honestly, if I'd have wrote that story, it wouldn't have gone that way. It wouldn't have had them sleeping with each other. Yeah. It would have maybe even just, how about a twist of, really, it was Christopher Daniels sleeping with somebody, or (gasps) Kazarian sleeping with somebody, or maybe Kazarian and Daniels sleeping with each other. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> not that there's anything not wrong with that. Nope. <laughs> in 2012. This this horrible actress. Oh God! I I, I, I thank AJ and and Dixie for giving me this crappy storyline. It really to watch. just it just went on too long. Blaming on BJ Anis. Yeah. Um. Oh going to uh, the the Chachi's guys hand up. In this database. There are 63 <laughs> matches fought by Vince McMahon. 30, wait, 30 wins, 22 losses were the results of those matches. He has had 19 different wrestlers team up with him, and he has wrestled 61 different wrestlers. That's what I learned in wrestling this week. Holy shit. Hey, back to the hangout, Matt Garland. Swallow those wrestling. numbers! <laughs> uh, I, I learned the hangouts are great, so don't be scared. Other mayhem viewers. Join and, us. and also, we don't play. Yes, they're all friendly. Um, and also, um, Bill Except Goldberg, all time versus Jerry Flynn, <laughs> 11 and 0. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Slip on that. Oh. I, I just want to put this out there. There's also a part of this website called Encounters of Wrestlers where you can find two wrestlers and it will put them in like a split. So I just looked up Ron Simmons versus Ravishing Rick Rude. They wrestled 33 times, and what? Ron Simmons was 28 and 5 against Rick Rude. Wow. I don't know what to do. Oh, well, you oh, you that out like a Craigslist ad. It's a lot powers. of information. <laughs> wow! Back to the hangout, Riz. What'd you learn? Well, I learned from my from the uh, news source that I follow, uh, Kayfabe, New- Kayfabe News, that on June 24th was a very special day. Nothing happened. Yo, explain <laughs> this. Nothing at all happened. Nothing happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing actually nothing happened. Nothing happened. Five, five years ago, I, I didn't see anything happen. 
did anyone else know what no. happened? No. no. You see that no. picture over there? Ignore it. Nothing happened. That, no, nothing. nothing. Happened. I don't know who that guy is. Who is that? Who's that guy? Uh, hold on. Let me see. By date, what was that? Five years ago. When was that? Sunday? That was, June yeah. June 24th. The 24th. Yep. June twenty fourth. Okay, hold on a second here. Hold on, no, I've got it. No, I've got a database to... of things. Uh... <laughs> hey Riz, got a yes. database Riz, of no, the only thing I could find here in WWE is history was a random house this? show in Huntington. Is, what? This? is this real? That is a blank <laughs> DVD, <laughs> sir. That, that is real? a blank DVD. That, I don't know who that is. <laughs> that I haven't tried to play. I also know. I also know for a fact that if you play. Uh, a certain music that went on in that DVD uh, at a wrestling pre-show. Somebody doesn't hear it. <laughs> hey, guess what? When Bret Hart and and uh, Kevin Nash team up together, they're six and zero. Oh, FYI, what? Sorg, wow. what'd you learn what, in wrestling uh, this what week? What did I learn, guys? I learned a lot of things. Especially, I learned a lot of things doing indie wrestling, uh, filming and such. But one of the things I learned very, just uh. If you're a fan, if you're a wrestler, if you're somebody that's just working camera like Chachi is, you just need to be very, very careful and make sure you know where your stuff is. Uh oh. <laughs> that's all I got to say there. The visual is right there. There's Mr. Joe Dabrowski with a certain vest from a certain super indie champion. Uh, so there you go. Um, guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please check us out. As always, we're over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We're on your iTunes, Blip TV, Roku, Boxes, Stitcher apps. Go, go like us, Every star Tuesday, us, leave comments on the show, share with your friends. What? What? I want to plug. I want to plug. Okay. I want to plug every Tuesday on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, in addition to the amazing live show that we put on every Tuesday night. Uh, you can find articles, columns at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, written by me, DJ Lunchbox, uh, partially because I love wrestling and also because I need the practice. Uh, hey, Riz, something did happen. Five years ago, on June uh -oh. 24th. No, nothing happened. No, 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 something did. Five years ago, June 24th, 2007? Yeah. Uh, funny enough, uh, super crazy wrestled Carlito and defeated him in five minutes. Oh, wow. wow. There you go. There you go. Also, guys, that day you can send us some other interesting <laughs> facts from WrestlingDatabase.com or whatnot. I found at, errors. At good times <laughs> at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Send I us found an email. Errors. Chachi's going to call Five us through the eight. week at 412-206-WMS0 and tell Everybody us about those go. errors, guys. Uh, for uh, DJ Lunchbox, <laughs> uh, yes. the Russell fan, Bo Diggity after. AJ from PGH, that was at the Wrestle Fan, and all the guys, Matt, Riz, uh, Wheels, and Bobby in the Hangout. You guys can join us too. Circle us on Google Plus, Facebook, like us, all that stuff. Follow us at Mayhem Show. That's it. We're gonna lose the night in numbers. See you guys later. Mayhem out. Okay. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait.